Emma by Jane Austen. This is the story of Emma Woodhouse, the pretty, charming and much-loved youngest daughter of a wealthy family in Regency rural England. Emma runs her house Hartfield for her father, and she's really the queen of her own domain, but of course that domain is still pretty limited for a woman of that time to the domestic sphere. And because her father is pretty demanding and controlling at times, she doesn't have the opportunity to travel or to see any of the sights of Europe or even the more accessible pleasures of the English spa towns. So she has to make her own amusement, and the amusement that she chooses is matchmaking. Emma believes that there's a perfect match for every person and that she is the one to help them to find it. So she makes friends with this girl called Harriet, who goes goes to a local finishing school and is of questionable parentage. They become great friends and Harriet is sort of in love with this guy called Robert Martin but Emma disapproves because Martin is a farmer and she thinks that Harriet should aim much higher specifically for the slightly creepy but very eligible young vicar Mr Elton. She thinks that Elton likes Harriet because he complimented this painting that Emma did of her but in fact it turns out that he was complimenting Emma herself. Enter Mr Knightley, Emma's kind and wise brother-in-law and incidentally her closest friend who, spoiler alert, she has some intense chemistry with. He's pretty disapproving of her matchmaking activities and also her attitude towards the Mrs Bates, some genteel but impoverished local ladies. In the fairly limited social circles of Highbury, Emma feels duty bound to occasionally attend the odd card party or evening at their house, but she's bored to tears by how much they talk about their young niece Jane Fairfax, who's far too reserved and virtuous for Emma's tastes. Frank Churchill, a rather dashing young man, arrives in the neighbourhood and he really hits it off with Emma. They make plans to go to a famous viewpoint called Box Hill and invite the Mrs Bates and Jane Fairfax along, but unfortunately everything ends in tears at the picnic when Emma and Frank get carried away and manage to offend everybody in their own special way. Mr Knightley thinks that this is badly done, but his disapproval of Emma soon turns to concern when he finds that Frank Churchill and Jane Fairfax have been secretly corresponding and having a clandestine affair all along. The thing is though, Emma isn't that heartbroken, because it turns out the person she's always had feelings for is Mr Knightley himself. So after this roller coaster of emotions, the book ends in true Austin fashion with multiple weddings. What more could you ask for? Hope that you've enjoyed this video and are having a great booktubeathon. Thanks for watching!